All right, it is Tuesday the 17th, and we have woke up to a whole new world. So um, I'm in Quito, Ecuador, and uh, I'm not returning back to Afghanistan this week like was planned. Uh, my work sent me a message and said, hey, don't come back. You're on indefinite vacation until this whole uh, virus crisis passes. So um, that's the good news. I wasn't looking forward to flying. The bad news is, you have your keys? The bad news is we are in a big uh, virus lockdown in this city. It just started today to get real serious. So so we've got our masks. We're not allowed to go out without them. Um, I'm just in the little courtyard area here. But as soon as I step out, I need to put this on. Government rules. Um, also, everything is closed except for, except for grocery stores, pharmacies, things like that. Um, we're not supposed to go out in pairs like this. Each family's supposed to pick one person, but I don't think they're really enforcing, enforcing that yet. And we're going out together so we can carry more groceries to stock up. And uh, we can't drive. Buses, taxis, I, taxis might be running, but I don't think so, we're about to see. Um, but um, personal cars, we can't take them out. Um, basically, the city's on full lockdown. Airport's closed, borders are closed. There's no movement between provinces. It just got real. So uh, that's the coronavirus lockdown in Quito, Ecuador. Um, well, suburb of Quito. And uh, we're going to see how it goes and what's going on and how we can uh, keep ourselves entertained and busy while we uh, deal with this crisis. So, yeah, we're seeing lots of people out and about. Oh, stepped off a step I didn't see. So, yeah, we're seeing lots of people out and about with masks, but just as many without People are not taking this real seriously yet. So yeah, there's still uh, a few cars on the street, but nothing like normal. Quite a few people out and about, but uh, about half of them have masks on like they're supposed to. Is it driving you crazy being stuck in the house? Sometimes, yeah, I feel. I can't remember the last time the air was this clear around Quito, Ecuador, or traffic was this light and it was so easy to cross the street. So there are some good things. So yeah, buying chicken for the house was totally like a drag deal. Place kept the door almost all the way closed, passed the money under the door. They passed my chicken out. Kind of funny. But uh, yeah, restaurants are closed. So they're, I don't know if they're not really allowed to be open, but they're just staying open because people need chicken or, or what the deal is. But uh, I'm gonna go try to bag, buy a bag of rice now and then get back inside. Oh, good to get this mask off. All right, so that was an adventure. Um, all right, got rice, got chicken. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of people out. About half of them are wearing masks. The rule in this area now is that you need to go out by yourself and you need to be wearing a mask, but maybe half the people are following the rule. Also, as you can see, there's a lot of people driving. Um, they also have a rule. Um, nobody's allowed to drive right now. All right, so today's mission is to go to the bank. We just kind of walked past it yesterday, but um, we really got to get in there and uh, get some cash. We do not want to run low and then find that there's a run on the banks in a few days. And we're also going to stock up on water. Here we go. All right, banking mission halfway successful. So we noticed at the Bank of Potentia they were not letting people inside if they did not have face masks. They were uh, they were actively turning people away that didn't show up with one of these masks. Um, in Ecuador, they're they're real big believers during this crisis in using the face mask. And uh, when you go outside, it is required.
one of the good things to come out of this is that I've got a lot of time to practice flying my drone. And man, do I need practice. I'm a, you remember from my uh, last video, um, I really didn't know what I was doing and took some pretty terrible uh, shots from the drone. So now I'm, uh, I'm focusing on getting better with it so I can uh, have one more tool to show you the world that I know. It's okay, they're close enough. They're close enough. <laughs> All right, so now it has been a week, um, a week of this uh, citywide, actually countrywide lockdown. And uh, man, it's getting tough. Um, we're all going stir crazy. And uh, the kids are kind of getting to that point where they're fighting with each other a lot. And um, I think we all wish that this could just be over and done with. Um, but it's only getting more serious. Uh, the, the number of cases here in Ecuador is continuing to grow exponentially. And uh, the lockdown is getting tighter. Um, we now, I think it's two o'clock that we're not allowed um, to be out on the street at all. Um, so we have to like from, I think five in the morning till two in the afternoon to go do our shopping. Um, and um, I was wrong. I was mistaken about the the cars on the street. Uh, earlier I was saying no one was allowed to drive. Um, I had some misinformation because there's been a ton of that going around. And uh, what it is, is based on your license plate number, um, you get a certain number of days that you're allowed to drive. Um, also based on your ID number, your ID card, you have a certain uh, number of days you're allowed to go to the markets. Um, unfortunately, my driving day and my market day are not the same. So uh, I've got to walk to the market. But um, so that's what's up, that's what's going on. I'll try to give you more updates. Um, yeah, this sucks. And uh, to everyone out there, um, buckle in. I think it's gonna be a long time and we all need to just deal with it and uh, understand that it, it's for the greater good. Oh, and uh, this right here, that's a subscribe button. You should hit it.